So let's talk about what it actually takes to replace a system like Swift. There are four pillars that you need to have in place. Technology, adoption, stability, and trust. Now, the technology is kind of the easy part, relatively speaking, because it exists. It's being piloted right now. And India is leading the charge. They're sharing their UPI technology backbone with countries across the BRICS alliance. In fact, and this is important, in December, they announced this exact framework with Ethiopia, the fifth largest economy in Africa. Now, Ethiopia required a, a bailout from the World Bank and the IMF as recently as 2023, and they're still recovering from their own major financial crisis, but they just became the first country in Africa to deliberately move to an entirely digital financial infrastructure. Not gradually, not partially, entirely. And now they're gonna do it with Indian technology. See, India's open sourcing this process, making it available to encourage rapid adoption because India understands something fundamental, the network effect. The more countries that join, the more valuable the system becomes. It's the same reason that Facebook grew so fast. Every user made the platform more valuable for everyone else. That's just technology writ large. And that leads us to adoption. Ethiopia is the proving ground for BRICS in Africa, but it's not alone. Egypt is a BRICS member, the second largest African economy, South Africa, is a founding member, the largest African economy. So if the system works in Ethiopia, if it can handle the stress of a recovering economy with limited infrastructure, then the adoption across Africa becomes far more doable.